characters are, like I said in earlier slides, M Miriam, Donatello, Hilda, and Keon. That is a picture of Cleopatra because they compare Mi Miriam to Cleopatra multiple times in the story. And that is a picture of a fawn, a marble fawn, because they compared Donatello to a fawn and they're always seen as, they're always seen as loyal and a good friend. And Keon is in a, is an American sculptor who acts as the word of reason for the group. He eventually becomes married to Hilda, who is who also plays an, an uh, another factor in the plot, and that is a picture of. Hilda with doves and a sculptor right there in Keon. And the historical aspect. The story was written in 1860 and it's the last, the last novel he ever wrote before he before he died. In 1858, he was inspired to write the novel after after watching a play in Rome, Italy. In 18 in 1859, he had the the manuscript but completely rewrote the novel and was met with average success, to say the least. The cultural era. The story is, cons is considered to be a dark romantic novel who shows the characters falling into despair and tragedy. Um, Donatello, who was um, was a main character driven to make a horrible choice, which which led to him getting imprisoned and a fall from grace. That is true with Miriam too. That is also true with Miriam. Literary devices. The story has has many devices. The story is actually a reflect of Hawthorne's artistic beliefs. He's always had a concern for humanity and that is evident in the story by the story's main characters and what issues they have to go through after the Donatello murder. Um, the story is basically character driven with, with some forms of satire and irony. Hilda and Keon are less mature characters, but they, but they somewhat have the most positive outcome at the end of the story, and they benefited the, the most from Rome. And the story 
the story pretty much teaches life lessons such as taking consequences for your actions and learning to do the right thing and if you if you read this book you can start reading his other novels which have much more like the vices than the marble bond does Symbolism. The Marble Fawn was a really abstract novel because it shows a man who is split and divided by two different worlds. One with moral ideas and, and one with coldness and imprisonment. It shows an idea of a fortunate fall from grace and what some are pushed to do by others, sadly. E evaluation. The novel was pretty good. It's some parts of it can drag on like the art scenes and stuff, but overall it's a pretty good read. I I like how Hawthorne tackled a wide range of topics such as art, sin, and religion. He puts 